In a previous video, I showed you how to create a custom post type using CPTUI, the plugin CPTUI. You can find uh, the section dedicated to CPTUI in your sidebar. So let's go back to uh, the custom post types. And we can find here one of our custom post type, which is best SaaS product, SaaS products. You can also find it in the sidebar right here. There's nothing at the moment. I haven't created any uh, SaaS product. And if I want to add one, so if I want to add a post, you will see that I just have the title. I can also expand the Yoast SEO section, but I don't have any field here. So we have to create the fields to populate uh, the custom post type. How do we do this? I'm using ACF, Advanced Custom Fields. I'm using, I think, for this website, the free version of Advanced Custom Fields, uh, which is enough for me because I don't need, for instance, the gallery feature of Advanced Custom Fields on this website. So I have installed ACF, and we can start by creating a new field group. Field group, which will be attached to our custom post type SaaS product. So we will call it SAS features like this and we will connect it to the post type being SAS product then I will also choose a few options here so I want it to be high just after the title I want the label left align that's just my preference and uh, I just want to show on the screen the permalink, the slug, which is approximately the same, and a featured image. That's from the core options of WordPress. Then we will create all the fields. So to create the fields, uh, on another screen, I've got uh, my spreadsheet with all the columns with the features that I want to add for each of the SaaS products. So I will start by creating one called Brand. That will be the name of the brand, like Send in Blue, for instance. That's a text. Um, let's move to another one, which will be the URL that I want to um, share with my users. So uh, the field type will be a URL. And then I have another one which I will, which I've called clean URL because sometimes I use uh, affiliate URL, so I want to have one which is the clean URL. Also, so it's another URL, and then I want to have a display URL, which is uh, just a piece of text that I can show on a button, for instance. So that's text format. Um, then I will have another. Uh, piece of information which will be the main use case of the software also text and then I have a series of tags uh, these tags uh, will be uh, custom uh, custom taxonomy which will be a software type right here okay and uh, yeah, I don't care really about the appearance, uh, but checkbox is nice because I feed them uh, by importing a spreadsheet. But uh, you can choose uh, how you want them to appear, a checkbox or a multi-select, for instance. And uh, yes, uh, we want to create terms if we don't have the terms yet in the database. So this one would be called um, uh, software types. Software types this perfect uh, then my next column is a note um, just uh, like my first note so a text area where I explain what I um, how I use the software then I have another column which is um, a true false yes or no um, a true false uh, about free plan. So is there or not a free plan uh, for this software? Okay, the next one is, uh, yeah, what is the cheapest plan? And uh, I have two columns for that. I have one column where I use a number, a straight number that I can use in, uh, for instance, uh, faceted search uh, sliders. 
to sort uh, the different uh, entries uh, in a search module. So that's a number. And then I have the same uh, information, but as a piece of text um, right here. So cheapest plan text. So for instance, if it's $39 uh, per month, I have the first uh, column, which is 39 and the other one, which says uh, $39 per month. Here we go. My next column would be, um, yes, a note about the cheapest plan. So a cheapest plan, cheapest plan note, where I explain what you can do with the cheapest plan, cheapest premium plan. <clears throat> then, um, best for, yes, that's another uh, text area where I just say, what it's best for this uh, software. Uh, then I have the creation year of the company. Um, yeah, I can put it as a number or as text, but let's put it as a number. Then you can use it also um, in search in a slider. Perfect. Um, the, the country of origin or while it's operating. Next one, a link to a YouTube video tutorial, like this one. So uh, that would be a URL. Then I have uh, an image. Uh, next one would be an image, which is uh, the logo of the company. That's an image. So as you can see, you can choose the type of, uh, of content. Usually I don't have to touch all the, all the features, um, uh, all the options. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the, the standard ones. And the last column will be, yes, a screenshot, which I generated with a very nice API called HTML CSS2 image. I have another video about this. So if you want to check it out, I will leave the link in the description. So that's also an image. So we have 17 fields, as you can see. So 17 columns in my spreadsheet to make it clearer. And I can publish this field group like this. Okay. I can, if I want, reorder the fields, uh, if I made a mistake, so I can move this field around, for instance, but uh, that's just following uh, the columns in my spreadsheet. Everything is ready now. So if I go back now to my um, SaaS products, if I want to add a new SaaS product, you will see that all the fields are now available in um, in the SaaS products uh, in the SaaS product section. So I can start by uh, typing in. Uh, the title of my product, then the brand, then the URL, clean URL, display URL, etc. And all of this uh, will be uh, encoded, attached to uh, this SaaS product. The next thing we have to do is create a template for that. Uh, but that will be the topic of another video. The topic of this one was to show you how to create using ACF, advanced custom fields, custom fields right here, um, the fields that you can uh, attach to one of your custom post types.